Welcome to Drone Desk. This is a video to take you through the basic navigation of the system and, and uh, help you find out where everything is. So we're looking at the dashboard and this is what you'll see with the first time you log into the system. Uh, top left we have um, panels which show you record counts in each of the sections. Clicking on the panel will take you to that section and clicking on the plus icon will take you to that section with uh, the new record form uh, open ready to create a new record in that section. Below that, we've got the flight currency panel, and that shows you flight currency um, for the last 30 days by day. If you're an admin and you've got multiple pilots in your organization, then they'll all be listed in the drop down, and you can click those to view their report. You can view a full report by clicking the icon on the top right. Then we've got the certifications panel. This shows individual certifications at the top, and then business level certifications below. If there are any expiring, then they'll be shown in amber. If there's any expired, they'll be shown in red. You can edit your certifications by clicking the edit icon there. For individuals, that'll take you to the team member record to edit those. And then for the business level, that will take you to the uh, edit business to manage those there. Then top right, we've got the calendar view. So this will show you all the jobs that you have built in the system with links to those jobs to go straight to manage them from here. You can also optionally link an external um, Google Calendar into here so you can see external appointments alongside these. Then we've got the to-do list. You can add your own to-dos to this by typing in the field and they'll be shown with a user icon against them. And then anything with a red bell icon is system generated. So the system will monitor your um, assets and so on in the system and then alert you if there's things that need your attention. So, for example, we've got drones that need maintenance, that have maintenance overdue here. In terms of navigation, then the left hand side is the, is the main menu. Anything with a, an arrow to the right of it is a drop down, and the, the, the further items below that. And then, top right hand side is the other menu where you can access your profile. So, that would be so you can set your um, location, your date, format, preference, and so on. My business, where you can set your business details, address, um, and certifications. My license or my subscription will give you details about your current subscription and will also allow you to invite new users to join your account. Then we've got settings where you can configure the main settings for the system, um, including your risk assessment and your checklists. Then we've got an affiliate program, subcontracting if you want to sign up for that, um, an asset scanner if you want to scan assets in and out of the system, help menu if you get stuck anywhere in the system, clicking help will bring up a video covering the page that you're on and help you through. The bell icon will show you uh, for the UK any CAA Skywise alerts and in the US and Canada um, uh, relevant alerts that need your attention or that you should read. Um, clicking on the item will take you to that in the external site. I will also mark the item as red or you can optionally mark them as red directly from there. And then at the bottom of the screen, we've got various icons. So the bug icon uh, will allow you to raise a pot report on the system. So if you find something that's not working as you expect, then please raise the report via that icon. We've got a heartbeat, which will show you the system status, um, when the last data was imported and what the response time of the system is. Roadmap will tell you what we've got planned, what we're developing at the moment as, in terms of new features. There's an ideas form there. If, you, there's an, if there's a feature that you would like to see added to the system, then please enter that there. Then we've got a um, knowledge base, uh, a link to our YouTube channel, which, in, which includes all these videos, help videos. Uh, link to our Facebook group, please join that. And then terms and conditions and privacy policy. So let me just quickly dive into settings. Um, so from here, we can configure the entire system. So we've got integrations, Google Drive, and so on. We've got data import. If you've got records in other systems, then you can download a template from here and then fill it in with your data and upload it back into Drone Desk. Job sections allows you to configure which of the job sections, which you see listed on the left here, are included 
on screen or in any of the three different job packs that you're able to export. Document header allows you to configure a header which appears in all of those documents when you export them as the first page. A method statement, so you can configure a default method statement here, which then gets added to every new job you create in the system. Uh, you can then edit that on a per job basis as needed. Exactly the same with operational notes. Then we've got risk assessment. So we've got standard risk assessment and OSC format risk assessment. Um, you, the system comes with a default uh, set of risks, or fairly common risks. Um, you can add to this, or if there's stuff in here that you don't want, then just remove it. That then gets added to every new job you create and you can edit it again on, on a per job basis as needed. Checklists, we've got six different checklists um, which are included in the system by default, very detailed. So you can remove these if, or items from this list if you don't need them. Uh, and again, add stuff if you would like additional stuff in there. So that's the six different checklists. Then we've got workflow configuration. Um, this is typically aimed at larger companies with multiple pilots. Uh, so it allows you to set some permissions and so on. Then we've got asset QR codes. This allows you to print off um, QR codes, which get created for every asset you build in the system. Um, and then you can stick those to your drone uh, and scan them in and out um, via the scan asset menu. So let's look at the clients table. This is typical of the tables that you see in Drone Desk. It'll fit as many columns across the screen as it's able to, depending on the size of your screen, obviously. If there are columns that are hidden, then click the left hand uh, plus icon and that will show the hidden columns. You can order the table by any column by clicking in the header, ascending, descending, um, and you can move columns around. So if, if you don't like the order, then you can move columns around if needed. And you can also hide or show columns if there's stuff in here that you don't want to see on a regular basis. You can export all your records at any time to Excel by clicking the Excel icon top left. And you can search the table for um, any record just by typing in the search field top right. The table will immediately filter to any matching records. To remove the search, just click the X. You can view, edit, or archive a record at any time from here. Uh, if you archive a record, it will disappear from the list, but you can always review your archived records from there uh, by clicking the, the um, checkbox bottom right, and then unarchive that record if you want to from there too. Drop my drop down menu will give you um, access to whatever functionality is available for this type of record. Uh, most records will have a log entry capability, so you can type logs against every uh, every item, and that becomes a permanent record. If you've uh, moved the tail around a lot and you're not happy with how it's now configured, because it will remember every time you access this table um, how you configured it. So show the, the columns in the order you, you've set them. If you decide you no longer like it that way, then you can restore the table to the default setting by clicking that uh, restore icon there. To create a new record, you'll see a purple button, uh, purple button top right of the table uh, with a, a create new. Um, and then what you'll see is any field with an asterisk uh, is mandatory. Any field with a dagger has to be unique in the system for your account. Uh, so in this case, all I need to do is fill in a client name and it has to be unique um, for, my, for my account. So once you've filled in the form, the requisite fields, then click Save New Record. Um, if you miss something, then it'll tell you. Um, just give this a random name, Save Record, when it says successfully, you'll get a record. And then the table will uh, scroll to um, point you towards that record. It'll either scroll to the record, uh, as you just saw there, or it will filter the table directly to that record, depending on how many records are in the system.
Okay, so back to the dashboard. That's a very quick run through the system, the menus, um, and where you can find everything. Hope that's been useful. Thank you.